CAA talking about uh, their worst roads have kicked it off again today. And Dufferin was always on the top. And people always say, well, these are on these lists. Why can't the city fix them? Well, we are. And the fact is that we're doing better. If you go back to the beginning when I took this office, uh, we had, uh, I think, five of the top ten. We're down to two of the top ten worst roads in Ontario. Uh, and one is Dufferin and, and, and one is Young Street. Uh, and both are slated to have work done. I mean, for example, Dufferin will have work done downtown around Dundas and also up around the 401 this year. We'll spend $170 million fixing roads this year. So it's not that we're not doing it. And by the way, potholes, we're hard at. It's, uh, it, it's, well, it's been a nightmare this year, frankly, it because it's been of the a tough weather. Year, right? And, uh, you know, we've already fixed well more than 100,000 potholes, which is like a record for this time of the year. But it's a constant struggle to keep up, and, and we're just trying to do better. And I think the fact we have two of the top ten from last year, now that we're starting a new competition, down from seven of the top ten, I think is a, uh, you know, is a step forward. Is, is a win, right? And it's, it's not an easy process. It takes like you plan these things years. Well, in that's advance. the thing is that you know, and and we're trying to coordinate it better too, so that we don't close kind of like you know Avenue Road, Young Street, and Bayview all at the same time because they're all north south streets close to each other. And so between the coordination, between the budgeting, between the planning, um, it's it is a tough job, and it's a big city. And and as I say, I mentioned the 170 million dollar number so that people will know that we're investing a lot of their money yeah. fixing the roads. We are doing it, but as fast as you repair them, uh, you know there are more that come up for repairs. But we're trying to do better. All right, let's talk a little bit of politics. Um, you, you've, sat, you've had a chance to stand with Andrea Horvath and Kathleen Wynne. Doug Ford is the next one. Uh, polls out today showing he has a 21-point lead, possibly uh, the uh, Conservatives winning in Ontario. What would the conversation go like? I mean, you were combatants well, I think, at one yeah, point. Yeah, I think the conversation in terms of that combatant stuff would be uh, fine in the sense that, you know, in politics, uh, I've certainly tried never to make it personal. And I think uh, most other people try to do the same thing. I think what we really need to talk about is substantive issues. And you know they had a platform out when Patrick Brown was there that talked a lot about transit, for example. And I need to know, in light of the fact that that platform has changed because of some of their thoughts about the carbon tax and whatnot, um, can they still maintain the transit commitments that were in that platform? Uh, because for me, I mean, my job is very simple. It's to stand up for Toronto and the people of Toronto. And that means these days mostly about uh, transit and housing. And so I just need to know what are they going to do? What will their revised platform say about their plans for transit and housing? Because we need them as partners. Uh, and so that's what the conversation will focus on, I'm sure. Do you think they'd be willing to work with you, the Conservatives? Oh, sure. Look, I mean, you know, in, in, people overestimate this business of, you know, huge personality conflicts. I've made a real effort to get along with the governments of Ontario and Canada, and I think what's, uh, you know, we have to show for that is, for example, the $9 billion for transit that was announced last week. But uh, in the end, Mr. Ford needs a strong Toronto if he was to form the government because it's the economic engine of Ontario. Um, I need the province as a partner to build transit and build housing. So there is this, uh, you know, kind of um, uh, thing that draws us together to work together. And the only question is, frankly, whether the personalities get in the way. I try not to let that happen. I mean, I just, to me, my job is to work with, you know, whoever the government of Ontario and the government of Canada is and, and uh, get stuff done for people. Okay, Mayor. Thank you Thanks. very much for joining us today.